Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about remember me option. You must have seen that in login page. So I'll be doing that using PHP cookie. So let's get started. So this is the view I have created. There are two fields, one for username, second is password. And there is a checkbox with remember me. After that, let me show you DB. I have one customer table in which customer email and password I'll be using for login. Now let's go to code. So that's the file for database connection. Test table is our database. Now let's go to index file. There is a title remember password and after that there is a form in which you can see there is a username, there is a password and there is a checkbox with remember me. So I'll be submitting this form. So let's create a new file and save that as php let's say login check dot php after that start php tag include database file in this close php tag now check if is set underscore post bracket start so now in form pass action as login check dot php after that give input type submit a name let's say submit after this in post pass this submit now fetch username and password so first i'm going to take username Take that into a variable, post username, after that same for password. After taking password, pass that to a new variable and apply MD5 to it. So now we will be checking login. So let's go to DB structure, take customer email. So now write user query, select star from customers where customer email equals to username and customer password is going to be password. User result is equals to MySQL query and pass user query in that. Now we will be checking row. So for that we will be using MySQL num rows. So write if condition if user row is greater than 0 and if less than 0 then print invalid login. So now let's go and check checkbox value. So before that give a name to checkbox. Let's say remember checkbox and get that checkbox value here take that into post so let's go and print remember checkbox so refresh and copy email from database paste now if you click it saying invalid login okay i have sent the wrong variable so it should be it actually should be variable pass but i have sent password so let's go and replace that so now let's go and write password and click. It's giving error. So first refresh and now write customer email. Then password, login. Now remember me is not checked. So that's why it's giving error. If I'll check remember, it's giving on now. So now let's go and check. If remember checkbox is not empty, then only take its value into a variable so also write session so session and inside that user id so before that just fetch the user data with mysql i fetch ashok inside that user res now get the customer id for user id session variable and pass this into session user id here i have just 
checked my login and set session. So now I'll be setting cookie for remember me option. So let's go and write set cookie. So firstly, I'm going to write username and inside that pass username variable that we just got from post. After that pass current time with 30 seconds and second cookie is for password. So same just change name and variable. But if remember checkbox is not checked then we are expiring the cookie. So we will be the like we will be passing time before like any previous time we will be passing so i'm just passing 30 seconds so like after checking and setting cookie you can redirect to your dashboard i'm just keeping it here so now let's go and check in browser refresh take the customer email from database paste here then try write password remember me check then login so now let's go and see if our cookie is set or not. So in our index page, just I'm just going to print all the cookie that I have. So write print r inside that dollar underscore cookie. And let's go and refresh. So it's giving us a blank cookie. So I guess I need to increase time of the cookie. So let's say 3600 multiply by 24 multiplied by 7 so it will be I guess one week so let's go and refresh again write email password check the checkbox then login so now it will come back so our cookie is now set now we will be passing cookie value to fields so let's go and do that so first one is username so we'll be passing username cookie here so write value inside that check if it's set cookie with name username is set then print the value of cookie username now copy same value and paste in password so change the cookie name to password and also second place so now let's go and refresh so now you can see knowledge email is coming as password is also coming click on remember me and log in so now refresh again so value is there but if i will not check remember me and log in then value is gone value is not there so let me show you again if i will pass username like email and type password and check remember me and log in then our cookie is set we have data over here but if i not check remember me and log in without that then our cookie is expired it's having no data then so that's why it's getting blank for remember me you can also have one another cookie so let's copy and paste password one and inside that write user login and pass remember checkbox value in that and in form copy value of password and paste in checkbox take the value of cookie user login so if user login is set then print checked so let's go and refresh so remember me is now checked click on login now get back and refresh so pa uh, like password and email is there remove checkbox and again refresh so remember me is now set so if i remove remember me and again login now if i refresh so you can see username and password value like cookie is expired now so if i'll again type username and password with remember me option and press login 
so now let's go to index file you can see all three values are set now so that's all for this video in this video i have shown you how to add remember me option in your login page please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching